the elf again. Whoa, I was curious if like the memories are like transferring from painting to painting. Hello guys, we're going to be watching um, episode 6 of Delicious in Dungeon today. I'm excited to see what happens with this one. Last episode we got a little bit more of Phelan, so I imagine we're pretty, getting pretty close to, well, I think, we're getting pretty close to getting her back. So I'm excited to see uh, where we go there. Um, last episode we dealt with ghosts making sorbet. <laughs> Uh, we met another party, which was pretty fun. Um, hopefully we see them again in the future. They had them protect, their bodies protected, so I imagine they'll be revived. I hope we see them again. Um, but other than that, yeah, it was a great one. Really got a little bit more about uh, Phelan. And, and yeah, saw some interesting uh, monsters like the treasure. Uh, kind of like treasure mimics, in a sense. Uh, rather than it being like a chest mimic that Freerun's been dealing with at her show. <laughs> Uh, but more like uh, the treasure itself becoming like little bugs. So that's interesting. I like that. And then creating holy sorbet. <laughs> um, other than that, yeah, let's see what this episode brings. I imagine they'll be moving just one step closer to the dragon. Okay, let's go ahead and get going. Yeah, they gotta find another monster to cook up. <laughs> yeah, there's no way Laos should be backing away from food. Interesting. I hope we learn a little bit more context as to the world itself. Notice the eyes in the painting. <laughs> but uh, if we'll learn a little bit more context about this castle and the world that lived under, underneath their world, right? I mean, we know that there was an ancient wizard or something that owned, like, controls it. It's a painting. <laughs> Laos, man, I don't... <laughs> There's something up with Laos, man. Okay, so I guess this painting is like a, maybe not a dimension, but I don't know. It's kind of going into the painted world of Dark Souls or something. Uh, maybe it is just a flat out other dimension. <laughs> I mean, I guess in D&D, &D, yeah, they do have lots of different realms and dimensions and stuff you can go into. I know I keep comparing it to D&D, &D, but it is very similar. Interesting though, I'm wondering if uh, if that's, I mean he went into the painting of the, that painting and that's a painting of real people. 
wonder if that gave like a teaser to like the future of this story, like Prince Delgo. Yeah, so Prince Delgo. I wonder if we're going to learn a lot more about the... I mean, I guess I just said it earlier, the print, like the, how this world worked prior to the downfall. So poisoning happened. I love how he's all focused on food, but I'm like focused on like the lore. Huh. Oh, so now they're going to go to when he was crowned. I do love this, though. This is a great way to, to like, show off the history, like, to, to show lore, right? It's such an interesting, fun way in going into these paintings. God. <laughs> that elf again. Whoa, I was curious if, like, the memories are, like, transferring from painting to painting. There's no way he actually changed history by doing that, but those paintings seem to be connected as far as... Curious if they're wondering if he had something to do with the poisoning of his father. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling that just gave us a lot of like world building right there that we don't understand yet. So they're going to probably be dealing with a mimic. <laughs> Got it. So he, he especially hates mimics. Yeah, problem is if you go to sleep, they're not going to know because you're not going to say anything. I wonder how old he is then. 
Because I believe halflings do live longer than, like, humans. So it's a more complicated trap. This is why you don't separate. You're in a lot of danger when you're alone. Yeah, I think the lessons he's going to have to learn is he's going to have to rely on his team more. <laughs> he has to deal with the mimic. It's probably... <laughs> well, at least you know it's a mimic, so you can figure out something. Oh. That's cool. They make them like crabs. Ooh, look at this animation, man. I love how Trigger does this. Oh, that one wasn't the Mimic. Yeah, so the mimics of this world are like giant crabs then. Well, I know what they're going to be cooking. <laughs> God, he's like petting it. Oh my God. God, Laos is a psycho. Laos is a psycho. Chilchuk is seems to be the most like normal out of all of them. I mean, Marcia wants to be normal, but she's a <laughs> she's a goofball too. Said she's a <laughs> kind of a psycho too. Uh. <laughs> uh, worried about the breaking up.
<laughs> he just didn't want to admit it. Huh, that's an interesting way. I kind of like hearing the, the, what is it, ecology or whatever. Like what creatures do, like kind of like the whole, uh, in our world, like the birds that pick out of crocodiles' teeth, all that sort of stuff. It's, it's cool that we're getting that in this universe. A little bit of how the cycle works with the different creatures. <laughs> Got another mimic. <laughs> Okay, that was episode six of Delicious in Dungeon. And this one was a fun one. I really liked the, the first part of the episode where he was diving into the paintings. I feel like we got a sneak peek into more of the lore of, like, maybe the downfall or at least, like, an aspect of the of this entire, uh, what would I be called, dungeon or castle? This The former society, right? What's interesting, though, is that the paintings, he jumped into different aspects, like different like snapshots of history through those paintings, but the memories of him doing that and each painting carried over for them. So I don't, I don't think he actually changed time. I would be surprised if it actually sent him back in time and he was messing, <laughs> messing with major events that happened in that dungeon. But... At least, at bare minimum, the paintings were carrying over the memory of him doing that. I guarantee you, we're going to learn more about that. Both about that per that mage person who tried the mage elf that tried to kill him there at the end, and more about uh, what was it, Prince Del Delgal or something like that. So I have a feeling we got a really good like taste into like some of the deeper lore of this universe, and I that's I loved how they did that. That was a very unique. You don't see that very often. Um, normally you get like a lore dump or a book that they read or something. I loved how he was jumping into these paintings for food and was just stumbling into maybe some of the deeper story of what's going on. So I loved that, how that was handled. Uh, I imagine we're going to be learning more about those characters in like Prince Delgal and maybe that, that mage later on. Um, that stuff was fun. And then, uh, and then we had a fun Chill Chuck episode. Uh, of him <laughs> dealing with mimics, traps, aka the most dangerous thing in any tabletop RPG is the traps. And <laughs> uh, never go off on your own, guys. <laughs> At least have somebody watching your back in those situations, or else you're going to get caught in a trap and you're going to be screwed. Um, but yeah, this was a great episode that way. They made some crab. <laughs> Um, yeah, we learned Chilchuk's age. She's 29, so I, I asked that earlier. I was curious how old he was. He's really not that old um, in terms of of halflings. I, I imagine halflings still live longer. He still looks very young, so I imagine halflings live quite a bit longer than humans. I need to know, maybe it said so earlier, but I want to know um, both Marcel's age and she seems to be a lot older than that. And then I want to know um, Laos's age. Uh, he, he might be just 18 or something. I don't know. But fun stuff. Great episode. Um, we'll have to see where we go next with this. But um, I think they were right on the edge of moving to the next floor. So we'll have to see what happens there. Or actually, they might have just entered the new floor. And that's where this is the start of the new floor, actually, I think. So. I'd have to re-watch that. I'll look at that when I'm editing this episode. But Awesome. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate that. And we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.